Okay, so this next video is, to, is going to explain um, the C Trader risk and reward tool and how to use the last swing high and low uh, option that I'm about to show you actually. Uh, for those that don't know what it means, it's the last time the price swung high or low. And I'm going to explain how that works with this particular tool. Okay, so let me just pick a time frame, something like this. Now, if I start the robot, if you haven't seen this video, uh, or even looked at this tool yet, look at the playlist on YouTube and start with the introductory video, introduction video, and it'll actually explain it in more detail, okay? Okay, I click OK to continue. Okay, here's the tool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to a market order. And I'm also going to select use last swing. I'll leave it at yes. Okay, I'll save that. Now when I press this button, what happens is, it auto calculates the last time the price swung high or low. Now what it does, it goes back 100 candles or 100 bars and it finds um, a definition for what is a swing high or low, which is where the, the middle candle, the candles on either side of the highest candle is lower. Um, the actual product page, if you click at a link at the bottom of this video, will take you to the product page and it'll explain it in more detail um, what a last swing high and low is. Um, also, you can just Google it, just Google last swing, high and low trading, whatever, or Forex, and it will actually, there'll be a lot of um, information on the internet to explain it in more detail. Okay, so you should be able to find out what last swing, high and low means. So when this risk and reward tool first opens, it will auto calculate for you already the last swing, high and low. Now you don't really, I mean, half the time you can find it yourself, but it will work out for you what the last uh, high and low is and that does it for the current time frame so it's not any other time frame so in this case this is a four hour time frame so it would have gone back 100 candles and it would have picked out the last swing high and low for that which are these two values now you can adjust these just above and below as much as you want okay now what I'm going to do now is get rid of that and I'm going to go to back into it and I'm going to turn last swing and high and low no if you do that you see that the stop loss and take profit are now enabled if I go back to yes again they're disabled, you can't change them. If I go to no, you're allowed to change them. It lets you change them. So I'm gonna change that to 50 and 20 and a take profit of 25. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna save that. So what will happen now is when I open up the uh, risk and reward tool, it's actually set a reward as 25 pips and a stop loss is 50 pips, okay? Or as close as, there as, as you can. So you can preset these values so every time, and it will remember the values. So any value that you edit in here, when you close the application, you know, and close the platform, when you reopen the platform again, it will remember your values. So <clears throat> if you're using a certain symbol, which has got like a, a hundred or 500 pips that you're gonna use as a stop loss, you don't want it to set up as 10 or, the, or if the high and low doesn't work. So this just allows you, this allow you to actually um, set your high and low in stop loss, in pips, sorry, rather than the last swing high and low. Now, if you did set this to yes for last swing high and low, and I'm just going to close this and I'm going to go to a chart where there is no last swing high and low or it's very difficult to work it out like something like this what, what it will do if you had it have it set so it picks up the last swing on the high price and the low um, it should default to 10 pips and it hasn't as actually it still has picked up the last swing high and low so just to let you know if you are using this tool um, what it will do if for any reason it cannot work out the last either what either the last swing high or the last swing low it will use your default stop loss values or take profit values okay and to make sure that you know what it's doing in this log tab it will actually tell you um, that it didn't work because it was not the last swing high and low it didn't the calculation didn't work so that's that's all it is really um, that's all I wanted to say um, but again look at the log tab um, when you're running this tool as well to see what information the uh, the actual tool actually gives you, okay?